guys, as you can see, it is a rainy day here in Tokyo. Not ideal for sightseeing, but we are not staying indoors. We're actually going to be heading to a cat cafe. And if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that we love cat cafes. We've been to them in Korea, in Thailand, Malaysia, Germany. Germany yeah. Any chance we have to visit a cat cafe, we go to them. And Japan is full of cat cafes because this is where the trend originated. So we have come to Ikebukuro. There's a whole bunch to choose from over here. So yeah, let's go find some cats. So the shoes go in this little locker and you wear slippers. We have made it inside the cafe. Look at this little guy so relaxed. All stretched out. Are you cute? Yes, I'm cute. And this little guy right here looks so much like our Siamese cat that we used to have. His name was Tommy, and this one is so similar. Aww. This guy is hanging out on top of the treats. I wonder if this is a clue, like food me. But this looks like human treats, not cat treats. What do you think, Kitty? And check out this boss hanging out on the couch. Look at you, cat! So we are enjoying lots of quality time with the cats. It's not as busy as I thought it would be, but I guess it is the middle of the week on a rainy day. Yeah. So this is actually really good for us because the cat to human ratio is in our it's favor. fantastic. Yeah. So we should talk about the price because this is a little bit different from the cat cafes in Korea. Like in Korea, you would typically pay eight to ten dollars for a drink, and once you bought the drink, you kind of had access to the cafe and you could play with the cats as long as you wanted to. Here, you have to pay by a time slot. It's two hundred so, yen for ten minutes. Yeah, it's yeah. two hundred yen for ten minutes, which is less than two U.S. dollars. So if you end up staying here half an hour, that's six bucks, and the maximum is twenty-four hundred yen, and there is no limit on how long. You can stay. So yeah, if you wanted to hang out with the cats all day long, yeah. you technically could. You could, but I think half an hour to an hour is probably enough for the yes. average person. Oh yeah, I like that. Give it a belly rub. Oh, belly strokies. has a lot of like different sections so there's an area where you can sleep on beds have a little nap they also have an area where you can play board games they have different areas with couches they also have an area with computer games they have comic books manga anime whatever that is so yeah lots of options where you can just chill with cats and enjoy a relaxed few hours Going on. We're gonna feed some cats. It's 500 yen, and you can buy a lollipop or cat food. And apparently, they know what's coming. Ooh. Are you Ming Kun? Are you Ming Kun? Mm -hmm. Wow, Audrey, you've made a lot of friends. I have. <laughs> Did you become a cat whisperer? As you can see,
you over here, Cat Cafe Mocha has a whole bunch of locations all over Tokyo. So this isn't the only one you can come to. All right, guys, so that Cat Cafe was a lot of fun. It's the largest and nicest Cat Cafe we've ever been to on our travels. Yes. So yeah, we really enjoyed it. We ended up spending 40 minutes there. And since you pay by 10 minute increments, it was 200 yen times four. So 800 yen per person. We also bought cat food, which was really worth it. We really enjoyed yeah. feeding the cats. That was the highlight. So yeah, the total 500. itself, it was 2100 yen, yeah. which came to just under 20 US dollars. Yeah. And I would say it's a really unique activity you can do here in Tokyo. The cats were so sweet. It was really yeah. fun feeding them. So definitely, definitely worth it. Definitely if you're a cat lover, you'll want to check this place yeah. out.